Hi everyone, we designed and made this coal frame so that it can be assembled or dismantled within a minute and can be easily carried to a new location or to storage in garage or basement. And it costed us only $17. Here is how we made it. We used 9 4 feet by 3.5 inch by 5 8 of an inch cedar fence pickets and 8 shelving brackets, both from Lowe's. One old glass window that we got from Restore and nails and screws which we already had. Price breakdown is on the screen. The shelving brackets were on discount. Tools that we used were a circular saw, a drill machine and a hammer. Our carpentry skills are 0.1 on a scale of 0 to 10. So if we can do it, you can do it too. The length and the width of the window would define the size of the coal frame. Our window is 6 feet by 2 feet. We didn't want a coal frame 6 feet long, so we chose 4 feet long pickets. We did cut 2 pickets in half to make 2 feet wide sides of the coal frame. Also, coal frames are taller at the back and short at the front to allow more sunlight. So, we have 3 fence pickets at the back while the front had two pickets stacked up. The sides will also have two pickets, but there would be a third one on top, which is triangular in shape. We get those two triangles by cutting a two feet long fence picket along the diagonal. Also, split one of the fence picket lengthwise to use it as wood connectors. Cut them in pieces long enough to connect the stacked fence pickets. Before fixing these connectors in, we are going to arrange them on floor to show the design. Now, this is the most important part of design to make it collapsible. When we stand in the middle of the frame, facing any side of the frame, the brackets will always be on the right side. And there are no brackets on the left side. Also, the wooden connectors will be on the inside for all the sides except for the front side, for which they will be on the outer side. These front connectors will also be taller than the frame. We will soon explain why. Now, let us fix all the connectors and brackets with nails and screws. The smaller edge of triangles on the side frames can be fixed by hammering small nails from the top. The frame is ready now. Let us assemble it and stress test it to see if it would work. We can start by standing any one side and simply sliding the unbracketed side of the next piece into brackets of first piece. We will continue like this on all the sides till they are all held by the brackets on the piece next to them. The concept at work here is that each piece holds its neighbor at a 90 degree angle, which keeps it from falling apart. To test it, we kicked it a couple of times. We shook it vigorously and even slided it. It did not fall apart. There is still gap between brackets and the piece in it because we couldn't find smaller brackets. But after assembling the coal frame, if we want it snug, we can stuff it with old t-shirts. Now let us put the window on top of it. When we put the window, it stabilizes the frame further. The tall wood connectors in front prevent the window from sliding off the coal frame. If you need to air out the coal frame, you can simply put the window on the tall front connectors. This is all assembled and ready to use. And now the best part is to disassemble it by simply picking each part away. See how it reduces in size which makes it perfect for storage when it is not in use. Or if you want to move it to a different place, it is very easy to pick it, move it and assemble. All of it done within 5 minutes. During summer months, you can replace the glass window with a storm window for protection from pests and continue to use the cold frame for seedlings. Since it is winter, you are probably planning your garden. We have few strategies to grow more in less space and that we have listed in the video linked on the screen. So do check it out.